Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. Your message for this week, this week of February 23rd through, oh my goodness, I think it's March 2nd. Um, wow, it's March already. So your message is this, avoid lashing out and blaming others for your choices. Oof. I, that one came to me maybe a couple weeks ago because I was mad and frustrated at someone and I thought for a moment, wait a minute, <laughs> this, this is my choice, not theirs. <laughs> you know, I chose to do this. I chose to drew, drive this route. I, I chose to buy this product. Whatever it is, check yourself when you're finding yourself getting mad at someone and just kind of say, you know, did I have a, a, an expectation? And that can be your choice. My choice is this is how this event's going to go. And it doesn't go that way. And it's more than just you involved in it. You know, if it's in a group of people, you know, you can't be mad that your choices of the expectation are they coming out the way they are. So just ask your angels, ask your guide, just say, you know, show me where I need to own it, take responsibility for my choices. Um, and then, you know, no one can make you feel a certain way unless you give them permission. So own that as well that, all right, I got upset, angry, mad, jealous, whatever, because I chose to. So, you know, just again, avoid lashing out and blaming others for your choices, which also creates your circumstances, which creates the conditions that you're working through. So there's your message. So I'm going to be using the Housewives Tarot. It comes in this cool box and it's actually, when you open it up, it's almost like um, um, a recipe box. So it's kind of a cool deck. Really, really like it. The back of the cards look like this. So let me pull a couple cards to find out what you can expect this week how you can best navigate it, and how you might grow. So first of all, this week, what might you expect energy-wise, just like a forecast for what's coming up? Oh, the hangman. I love it. She's she's hanging the man on the laundry line, and she's got a smile. So the hangman, you can expect some waiting time, some pausing, some, oh, I'm just going to circle around the drain here. You know, just, it's like a time where you cocoon time, you know, just chill time, you know, again, back to wanting expectations of things to go a different way. And you're right now, you just got to kind of rest. So how can you best navigate this energy, this hangman energy? Justice. So we've got two, and I was shuffling, two major arcana cards coming up. Um, and this is Justice. So <laughs> I love that she's paddling the kid with the, with the wooden spoon. And this also can be about balance, but this can be about, you know, making things right. Um, and I feel like this is a little bit of the karma coming in because of the kid. You know, I love that imagery because it's like the kids, you know, he's paying for the price for what he did or didn't do. So as you are waiting, pondering, cocoon timing, you know, great time to find balance to bring yourself, you know, to a calm place, a neutral state, a peaceful place. And then how are you going to grow? What might you learn? Or what might you be able to manifest through all of this? All right, and five of swords, and look at all those scissors right there. And interesting, because this may be where you get to speak your truth a little bit more. The five of swords, very mental, very logical, oftentimes, and I love the imagery because this is giving me more information, trimming, cutting, resizing, um, dismantling, taking apart. So this is really kind of cool. But also, this looks like it's modifying and adjusting. So it looks like you'll be able to modify, dismantle, take apart. Um, traditional Five of Swords could be arguing, fussing, and fighting, you know, this speaking your truth. But I love that this card gives me some new words, and that is, you know, resizing, adjusting, dismantling, um, you know, or creating because it's like she's cutting the dress out to then be sewed together. So in this wait time, you might be preparing for when it's over. So you're bringing yourself into balance to prepare for the next step. So there's your message for this week. So check out my website, MitchellOsmore.com. If you want a spread, I've got like over 30 or 40, and I deliver them back to you just like this in a YouTube video. Only you can see it. I say your first name if it ever got out somewhere, um, but you can share the link. But check them out. There's a lot of them going on there from love to aura to animal creation, health, all kinds of stuff. And if you want an in-person session or a Skype, FaceTime, or phone session, you can book it, and we'll talk just like this as well. All right, now I'm Namaste. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.